They may be created in a computer, but they're still super. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 CGI characters in superhero movies. You got me thirsty for another cup of wine. For this list, we'll be looking at the characters created entirely from computer generated images. We won't be including those whose super suits are computer generated, so no Iron Man. We also won't be including television, as no matter how awesome Ghost Rider looks on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we didn't feel it'd be fair to compare TV and movie effects. Do it. Number 10, Ebony Maw, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Be thankful that your meaningless lives are now contributing I'm to sorry, the balance. I'm sorry, Earth is closed today. Dubbed Squidward by Iron Man upon encountering him, Ebony Maw is one of Thanos' henchmen slash children, known collectively as the Black Order. Played through motion capture by actor Tom Vaughn Lawler, Maw acts as the Big Bad's herald, pronouncing the propaganda of his master to the tyrant's victims. Maw is also a tremendously powerful psychic, able to go head-to-head -head with a sorcerer of Doctor Stephen Strange's caliber and beat him with comparatively little effort. Your powers are quick. You must be popular with the children. While not as visually impressive as some of the entries to come, Ebony Maw is nevertheless a very entertaining and creepy villain. If I were to reach our rendezvous on Titan, with the time stone still attached to your vaguely irritating person, there would be judgment. Number 9, Silver Surfer. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Show off. Speaking of alien heralds, Norrin Rad, better known as the Silver Surfer, is the messenger of Galactus, a powerful cosmic entity that devours every world it comes across. Silver Surfer is voiced by Lawrence Fishburne and portrayed by Doug Jones through a practical performance in prosthetic makeup. Why are you trying to destroy us? I am not the destroyer. Which was then given a slick CGI overlay, lending the character a more fluid appearance. While the film he appeared in received mixed reception, the Silver Surfer himself, from his tragic backstory to his cool abilities and appearance, is definitely worth seeing. It is known by many names. My people called it Galactus. Number 8, Ultron, Avengers, Age of Ultron. Sooner or later, every man shows himself. Oh, I'm sure they do. An artificial intelligence created by Tony Stark to protect the world, Ultron sees protecting the world differently than his creator, believing the world would be much better off without humans in it. Ultron has a plethora of robot bodies that he inhabits, but his primary form is created via motion capture by James Spader, who evokes a powerful menace that's augmented by effects that bring the mechanized villain to life. Ultron's terrific presence, great look, and his sarcastic personality make him a CGI character that's captivating and fun to watch. But I always say, keep your friends rich and your enemies rich and wait to find out which is which. Number 7, Colossus, Deadpool franchise. You've been warned before, Deadpool. This is a shameful and reckless use of your powers. You will both be coming with us. Look! Colossus. I don't have time for the goody two-shoes bullshit right now. Colossus may have been a background character in most of the X-Men films, but the Deadpool series puts him front and center, being the eponymous character's primary friend on the famed mutant team. Quite unfortunate. While many CGI characters are created through an actor's performance, Colossus required five separate actors to create, one for studio, another for on location, yet another for dialogue, and two for facial work. The end result is an impressive CGI creation and an honorable straight man to the perpetually goofy, sarcastic, and violent Deadpool. He's also the only one in the cast who can stand up to other CGI titans, like the equally enormous Juggernaut. No, not that Juggernaut. Don't you know who I am? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! Number 6, Korg, Marvel Cinematic Universe. So my name is Korg, I'm kind of like the leader in here. I'm uh, made of rocks, as you can see, but don't let that intimidate you. You don't need to be afraid unless you're made of scissors. <laughs> a failed revolutionary turned gladiator, Korg is a rock creature who aids Thor during his time on Sakaar and with evacuating Asgard. I'm Korg, this is me. We're gonna jump on that spaceship and get out of here. Wanna come? While Korg's stony visage is well-crafted from a technical standpoint, the one who truly makes the character great is the man who provided the motion capture and voice, Taika Waititi who also directed Thor Ragnarok. Waititi's gentle, nonchalant voice and attitude stand in hilarious contrast to Korg's appearance and help the character steal basically every scene he's in. 
he and his buddy Meek always bring a happy-go-lucky vibe with them wherever they go, making us eager for a spin-off for this CG duo. Oh, he's back. That kid on the TV just called me a dickhead again. Noob master. Number 5, Rocket Raccoon, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I thought it'd be funny, was it funny? No, wait, what did he look like hopping around? I had to transfer him 30,000 units. <laughs> The gruff, sarcastic pilot of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket is a genetically engineered raccoon, so naturally some CGI is needed to realize him on screen, since science has failed us. Ah, on a Rocket is played on set by a stand-in, Guardians director James Gunn's brother Sean, as well as by a life-size model, while his voice and motion capture are provided by Bradley Cooper. Though he offers plenty of comic relief and cool moments, Rocket is also a somewhat tragic figure, since his uniqueness makes him feel isolated. Regardless of what he's expressing, though, it's impressive that the animators and performers are able to capture the emotions of a raccoon so well. Oh, yeah. Number 4, Dr. Manhattan, Watchmen. She was pregnant. And you gunned her down. That's right. Dr. Manhattan is an arresting CGI character in a film notable for its striking visuals. The only character in Watchmen to put the super into superhero, Dr. Manhattan is a godlike, nuclear-powered being and a sight to behold. And we don't just mean because he's fond of nudity. If you think there's a problem with my attitude, I am prepared to discuss it. The character's blue, glowing skin, and occasionally his blue, glowing nether regions, are all expertly rendered by computers adding an ethereal air to Billy Crudup's already superbly detached performance and helping demonstrate how isolating and strange becoming a god would be. What are you talking about? You're going to try to convince me to save the world. Number 3, Groot, Marvel Cinematic Universe. What is it? I am Groot. So what? He is Groot. <clears throat> uh, need we say more? Probably. I am Groot! A talking tree creature, Groot is Rocket Raccoon's best friend and a fellow member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like Rocket, Groot is created through a combination of visual effects, stand-ins, and voice work. In his case, Groot's on-set replacements include an actor with a prosthetic mask attached to his head and a tiny doll for when the big guy is reborn as Baby Groot, while Vin Diesel provides the voiceover for both Groots. While his vocabulary is limited, Groot is a great source of unusual and often one-sided fights and hilarious comedy for the franchise. Number 2, Thanos, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I always hated that chair. So I've been told. Even so, I'd hope you'd sit in it one day. The biggest of big bads in the MCU, Thanos is an immensely powerful villain whose machinations to acquire the Infinity Stones have plagued the Avengers and other superhero groups for years. Fine. I'll do it myself. The genocidal warlord gradually developed over the course of Marvel's first three phases, alongside the cutting-edge visual effects used to render him, with the CGI looking incredibly naturalistic by the time of Infinity War and Endgame. Though his methods are horrific, Thanos makes for a surprisingly sympathetic villain, thanks in no small part to Josh Brolin's fantastic motion-captured performance. If we'd gotten to see him more, Thanos easily could have taken the top spot. What did it cost? Everything. Is it at all weird that my favorite character on this list is Korg? No, no, it's not weird at all, because Korg is great. I mean, sometimes I'll just drop Piss Off Ghost into casual conversation, and people will give me really funny looks. Anyways, before we unveil our top pick, here are a couple of CG honorable mentions. I thought my father killed you, like, a half a million years ago. I cannot die. Not until I fulfill my destiny and lay waste to your home. Give me a real fight! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1, The Hulk. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. Puny 
be gone. The gold standard when it comes to CGI characters, Bruce Banner's big green alter ego Hulk is a monstrously strong CGI creation that never feels out of place in the photoreal environments of the MCU. His look has been constantly updated over the years, slowly integrating more of the likeness and facial performance of Mark Ruffalo into the character with each passing film. While audiences were split on Endgame's Smart Hulk, there's no denying this character was brought to life flawlessly by the visual effects artists behind the scenes, who have consistently found new ways to bring more life and humor to a character that's always been a huge smash. What? I, I see this as an absolute win. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.